Yo, 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 what's goody, YouTube gang? As y'all know, we finna make another scary reaction video. Sorry if I haven't been popping out that much videos recently. Well, I just did actually, so y'all can't even cap. I've been grinding. But other than that, in all seriousness, <coughs> my voice, my voice, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm losing my voice. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. But in all seriousness, Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe because it'll be a new one out next week. Since I already got some more things to do, so we're gonna get this video out. Hold on, hold it. Gotta get the eyebrows, you know. Hey, blue face, baby. Yeah, I. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. In all seriousness, let's just get to this video. All right then, peace, y'all. So Pizza delivery story. Three. This happened in April of 2021. My region hadn't been hit so hard by COVID, so most aspects of our lives were normal. I had graduated in 2020 and I needed a job. I was 18 at the time, almost 19. I wasn't studying and I didn't know what the hell to do with my life. So in March, I got a job at Pizza Hut as a delivery driver in Kitchen Hair. The night seemed normal. It was one of those days that didn't seem like anything interesting would happen, but those are always the days when the unexpected happens, you know? It was around 10.30 on a Saturday night. We closed at 11, so it was just me and my boss during the last hour. As usual, we got a late order. It was close, and I had finished mopping and sweeping the floor. This man got lightning strikes. That man really went to the barbershop and said, Can I get that lightning haircut? Or <laughs> so it was no hassle. So recording. My boss was always prepared for a million orders to come at the last minute, so he asked me to do it as fast as possible. The restaurant was located in a plaza on the main road. The traffic was consistently heavy on a Saturday, so I avoided the main road and took the side exit. To Even though the plaza was in one of the busiest parts of town, this street, however, was always so dark and empty. This street was also really long, so all you could see were the traffic lights about 500 meters ahead. Something was confusing me, though. Like my eyes were playing tricks on me. Also there was this black I'm shadow blocking animation. part of the lights, and there was this metallic this object shining in the light above, bobbing up and down like it was floating. The hell? As I got closer, I could high? see the bottom of this dark silhouette. It looked like it was walking. I realized it was Sleep some paralysis. drunk idiot dressed in all black walking on the road. Oh, or, so bad. I thought. I couldn't entirely see them, and I didn't know what they were carrying. So I approached with caution, preparing to break or swerve. I got close enough to see this person was dressed in a long coat with a hood similar to a cowl, which is unusual where oh. I live. I you turned my car lights soul. on bright and honked my oh. horn, hoping oh. that they'd move to the side or something, but they didn't even That's flinch. Finally, I got close enough to see that it was some asshole dressed as death, carrying a scythe. Yep. Something was odd, though. Bro, look People, at it. even blood. if they are on the sidewalk, usually look over Halloween. their shoulder at an approaching car, but they didn't. Had to get that. As I drove past, however, this person ever so smoothly looked right into the window of my car on the driver's side. It gave me such a fright, like when people clap in your face. Reverse. I passed them too quickly to see their face, let alone see what gender they were. Oh. After I passed them, I looked into my rearview mirror trying there. to see them, but it was so dark. I stopped at the traffic lights, and that's when I started to panic. I remember those scary clown guys who used to block people's path and tap on car windows, so I went through the red. No one was on this road anyway. I pulled over to the side and tried calling the cops at the station, just in case somebody hits them but no one answered. Mm. I remembered my boss told me to hurry, so I just went on with the delivery. I got to the house and parked on the side of the hey, road, and I gave smooth. the people their pizza. 
It's always awkward handing over the pizza in silence, so to make conversation, I told them what I saw. They laughed and said that it was probably someone making a TikTok. I <laughs> laughed as well. I guess it was a pretty good prank. I got in my car and went joking. to start it, but I couldn't find the keys. Oh. I checked outside my car as well, but like I I'm couldn't find them. There. I searched for ages, but no luck. I started to panic and kept thinking about that person I saw on the street. I jumped into my car and locked it from the inside. I almost started crying when I heard jingling. Oh. I looked to my right to see that person dressed as death, holding my keys, staring into my window. I felt everything in my body pulsating, but I couldn't move. It was like they were staring Yo. into my soul. Eventually, He's I started acting on instinct. On pause. I don't remember thinking or doing it, but all of a sudden I was holding down the locks inside my car. What about the... My car is small and only has two doors, wow. so I could easily reach across and hold both the locks down. They started spamming the car remote and trying to open the door. I was oh, using all yes. my energy to hold yeah, down those God. locks. I don't think I'd They're ever done. used so much effort and strength before in my life. Again, I froze. I tried yelling at them, but I was holding my breath. Finally, a peep of strange sound came out as I gasped for air. I started screaming profanity at them. I screamed so much that my words became gibberish. Like A feeling of numbness took over my body, and I couldn't hear myself screaming anymore. My whole body was being controlled by my anxiety, and my ears were ringing. I was sweating profusely. All this time, I couldn't take my eyes off them. This person, this thing, standing over my car with a scythe. I knew that if they got in, I wouldn't stand a chance. The shadow from the hood hit their face. Was this even real? They stopped trying to get in and just looked at me. I started screaming out of exhaustion, and I became dizzy. And my vision was blurred. There was a silence. And then about ten dogs started barking close by. This gave me hope. Oh. While leaning on the scythe, they lowered their body oh. and put their face only a few centimeters from the window. Finally, oh, this gotta be some I could Halloween see friend. this person had covered themselves with a skull mask. Yep. We both froze and just stared at each other. Bro it's I couldn't Halloween. help but look into their eyes. The eyes. There was something unnerving about them. They didn't look like they were holding in laughter, like it was a prank. Yeah, 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 Through this creepy yeah, skull out. mask, I saw that they just looked curious, like how a little kid looks at an animal in the zoo. I, I shut scared, my eyes bro. and started calling for help. I had been screaming for so long, why couldn't anyone hear me? No I feared there. that fatigue would take over and they'd get in. At this moment, I swear I was almost convinced that death had come to collect me. Yep. I remembered my phone had Google Assist. With my hands still in the locks, I tried my luck and said, Hey, call triple zero. It triple worked, zero. and my phone contacted emergency services. I could not describe the feeling I got hearing the voice of the operator on the other line. Oh. I heard the blunt jingle of keys dropping. I opened my eyes, and the person dressed as death had disappeared. Yeah, he, he disappeared. I tried he looking around, move. but I didn't want to move. Man, man. I just spoke Ooh. to the lady on the line while holding the locks. She told me to keep doing what I was doing, and that she was sending the police. I waited on the line with her until the police arrived. It felt like hours, but it was only around ten minutes. Ten minutes I told them still. what had happened. Broke the because window. the person was threatening and I feared for my safety, I was required to make a formal statement to the station. They told me they'd keep it on file. The officers spoke to the people in the neighborhood, and none of them heard me scream or saw anything, and they were used to the dogs going off at night. He really I found my keys around two doing. meters from my car. I called my boss and the officers followed me back to my work, where I signed out. I then followed them to the police no station. I called my night. parents and they took my up. statement. 
It was almost 1 a.m. when it was finally finished. This was a couple of months ago, but sometimes it feels like I'm going crazy. It was probably some asshole messing with me, but they just looked so curious, Hell, like they were studying me. Or they enjoyed watching me, enjoyed Pulse. watching me feel helpless and terrified. Pulse. I still do deliveries, but well, I never Pulse. leave my keys in the car. Did you just say you still do the... Well, guys. Well, kids. Moral of the story. Don't leave your keys in the car. <laughs> I'm out of here.